From setting records because of how fast they gain followers to being accused of buying them all, the Kardashians are being criticized yet again. As usual, some fans are theorizing stuff about them, and it's being said that their followers are fake. Honestly speaking, yes, they do actually have fake followers, and there's no denying it. In fact, even the richest people in the world have fake followers. So it's safe to say that the Kardashians are doing the same. Instagram right now is what potentially determines the level of fame someone holds, and this platform is what they all use to influence their fans. The same is the case with the Kardashians. But their fans are convinced that these ladies also spend some good money on followers. Oh, and don't forget that the Jenners also sit in the same league for this. After all, they're the same family, right? It won't be wrong to assume that this fan theory is not just a theory. Let's go back a little in time, and you'll know why I'm so confident. Remember when almost all the Kardashians and Jenners were on the list of people with fake followers? Yeah, that report was actually real. In 2021, Tech Robot carried out a study listing some major names who turned out to be using fake followers. Unsurprisingly, Courtney, Chloe, and Kim were on the list. These bot followers were exposed and, well, the truth was told. On that list, there were some other big names as well. For example, consider Paris Hilton and Ariana Grande. But the main focus was the Kardashians, since they claim to be naturally famous and everything else. Starting with Courtney, since she was also on the list along with her sisters and mother. Even though it was almost two years ago, the fact that she does have fake followers cannot be denied. Courtney, right now, has about 217 million followers on Instagram. And in 2021, when the study was done, she had 145 million followers. Apparently, at that time, about 38.9 million of her followers were fake. Or, I should say, those were bot followers. In fact, she actually was on top among other Kardashians since the number of bots on her account was way more than what others had. Right now, I can't say for sure how many bots there are, but the numbers are definitely high, just not higher than Kim or Kylie. And while we're on the topic, let's talk about Kim as well. After all, she's the one who's been criticized for this the most. Back then, she had 257 million followers, but now she has surpassed 300 million followers. Anyways, the report suggested that out of 257, about 64.1 million followers were fake and were potentially bought by Kim. But that's not all. Another report, which is a bit more updated than the 2021 one, states that half of her Instagram followers aren't even real. That's right. Kim is said to have 43% fake fans on Instagram. And this comes from a study done by a UK company, ICMP. Well, it's hard to deny it because it's possible. And it's been proved way too many times now. Guess the theory is already being proved. So let's move on to the other Kardashian sister, Chloe. It's not easy to be a Kardashian, and Chloe is a true example of that. But gaining followers is definitely not one of the issues she faces. She, just like others, also needs more and more followers every day. After all, it's not just about fame for them. In fact, it's more about money and business. So as far as that report is concerned, Chloe was said to have about 47.8 million fake followers. And I believe these numbers have only increased in the past few years, since more and more people have become interested in them. At that time, her followers were about 188 million. But now she has a following of 302 million. That's a big difference, which ultimately means the number of fake followers also increased. But how much did she pay for it? Guess that will stay a secret for a long time. Or maybe someday, any one of these Kardashians will expose each other. After all, the drama they create is always out of this world. Anyway, their younger sister isn't different either. Apparently, Kylie Jenner 
also buys followers, and the reports have a lot to say about it. Okay, so in 2021, Kylie had about 270 plus million followers, but the report suggested that out of these followers, 67.2 million were fake. The fun part is that Kylie is pretty famous for being real, yet still, she needed to buy all these bots. Why? Because there's competition between the sisters as well. Remember when she surpassed her own sister Kim as she went on to become the first woman to reach 300 million Instagram followers? That was also probably because she ended up buying followers along with some organic followers since she gave birth at that time. Right now, she has over 386 million followers, and I can bet that she'll be at 400 million by the end of this year. After all, this never stops for them. And just like Kylie, Kendall is also assumed to have a big number of fake fans or followers. I believe it's wrong to call them followers since these are mostly just bots, monetized to like and comment on posts. But anyway, Kendall right now enjoys a following of 283 million. And yes, once again, a huge chunk is fake. According to the 2021 study, she had about 38.9 million fake followers. And just so you know, at that time, only 145 million people were following her on Instagram. It was kinda surprising to find out that most of her following is fake. After all, among other Kardashians, she is actually famous for her work as a model and isn't just known for her products or for her appearances in the show. I wonder if she also paid for it, or was she made to pay for it? With that said, it's almost impossible to forget their mother and manager, the one and only Kris Jenner. When you're a mother to so many famous daughters, fame basically comes to you. But well, it would be unfair to say that Kris never did anything to get where she's at. And she definitely deserved a massive following too, even though her followers aren't as many as her daughters. Yet still, about 27 to 30% of the entire following were said to be fake. Once again, it was back in 2021. And at that, Chris only had about 43 million followers. According to that report, she had 11.6 million fake ones, which was actually fewer than expected. But I guess she is famous after all. After handling so many famous kids and their work, she totally deserves to be where she is now. Right now, she has 51.8 million followers, so obviously, numbers have increased on the other side as well. But for Chris, I can't really say for sure if that's really the case. But this makes me want to ask the question, why do they feel the need to buy fake followers? Thinking about it, I can't fathom the fact that despite being so popular, they still have to spend money and buy followers. Are Instagram followers that important? Turns out, yes, they are actually very important for these celebrities. Apart from showcasing how successful they are, these followers actually work like true currency for them. All those products they sell? Yeah, people go for them when they see all that following. And let's not forget, the sponsorships they get have a lot to do with that. That was all about how the Kardashians actually buy followers.